Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. In this video, we'll be covering an update as of today, which is 0.9.10. As always, we'll go over the features and changes to be made and finally we'll test a few of them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to know about any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first feature of this update. And getting started with this week's update, the devs have gone and added a new feature, which is going to be the enabled playlists. Now this can be accessed via going to the new um, game here in Stormworks. Once you click on new game, obviously select the mode and everything that you need. And then if you scroll down just below here where we have our day night cycles, you will see that we now have a customized world. Okay, this is where we can go and enable playlists. Pretty much what that means is any playlist that you have with these beam missions um, from the workshop or even the ones you've created yourself, you can now have these spawned in by default in game. Now that's obviously something I think a few players have been waiting for here with obviously base building it has been quite a thing. Um, Obviously, they did introduce base building quite a while back, um, but the community is sturdy, obviously continue to build bases, and there's been a few select individuals within the community that have been really building um, really nice bases, especially, for example, like, um, if I'm correct, it's Sheepdog with his fire stations. Um, so now what he can do and what all, all players can do is they can go and enable those missions to be spawned by default. Now to get this working, all you have to do, as I said, come to a new playlist or new game, uh, go into your playlist here, and you will notice that you will have to unselect by default, all of these will be selected. You need to unselect them if you don't want them, okay? For example, these are the official ones, so they will come selected uh, or unselected depending on what you want. You can also then jump to your saved ones. You can then select whichever ones you want, and you also have your workshop ones. Now, as I said, by default, these will come selected. So please make sure you do come down to the toggle all and select these off. Otherwise, these will be spawning all together at once, which you probably don't want. And it's gonna crash your game. It's gonna kill your computer. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're actually gonna test this out and I'm going to go and spawn, select here is the island base. Something I've been working on the last week. Uh, so we've gone and selected that by default. Everything else is off. Okay, we're gonna go back to our new game here. And I'm just gonna go confirm. Okay, so this is gonna start up the game, load it up like normal, like we expect in everyday Stormworks. Uh, we'll spawn off, I think I'm spawning off at the new island uh, at the harbor base uh, with the train tracks. So you can see now in a couple seconds, we'll be able to obviously select our character, select our character and spawning in here. Now, if this has actually gone and worked, we should see the base just over here on our right. Now you kind of got a glimpse of it right there through that window and you can see by default, this has gone and spawned. I have not added any missions in. I haven't done anything at all. So by default, this has gone and spawned in. Now, if you obviously press the M to go to your maps, um, so just over here, and let's go to our missions, you will see that by default, the mission has been spawned in. Uh, you could obviously just literally toggle it that's it you can't delete it you can't get rid of it you can't do anything else um so we won't look at that any more longer but this is a really cool feature as i said um it now enables players to pretty much customize their world as they want instead of every single time loading the mission in um this just means by default they're just going to be there um which is quite nice now this obviously feels like it's leading up to something else um, here in game. Obviously with the ability now to spawn in our own creations in the world by default, that kind of makes us start to think, well, if they're doing that, what direction are they going in with the rest of the things that are customizable in terms of like real world blocks, i.e. train tracks or uh, fuel tanks? Does that mean that maybe sometime in the future we might be able to actually customize the world, maybe customize these containers or customize where we have workbenches? So this is a really interesting thing, uh, obviously something that we might just have to wait for uh, if it is, if actually is going to happen or not. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, but as I said, 
that it could be something really cool and something really interesting. But I like the way the devs are going with direction. Obviously, it's something that players uh, or very sm uh, select few of players have been wanting for a really long time. Uh, so I'm really glad to see that gone and added that in. And that's pretty much about it for this week's update. Um, they have gone a little fix, done a little fix to the wheels, um, so that you obviously have no more actual rolling of your creations when you have wheels at high speed. Uh, that's the small other fix they've gone and done. But besides that, uh, nothing else, just those two major things, uh, which once again makes me kind of think that something else is coming. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see, uh, and yeah, wait for next week. So that's it for this week's update. If you want to see a full list of the fixes and changes, make sure to go check out the announcements in the Stormworks official Discord server. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.